I have from being sweaty and up in a bun all night. I swear, like, I cut my hair, oh, what, like, two weeks ago or three weeks ago or something. And it's, like, almost already back at the length that it was when I cut it. And it's just ridiculous how much it grows. It just, like, just keeps coming. I can't handle it. And I know, like, if I was saying that to myself, like, five years ago, I would be so stoked that it was growing. But now I'm just, like, just stay at one length so I don't have to actually do anything. Anyways, guys, welcome to today's video. I have a day of work today, which I'm stoked about because... I'm not sure if I mentioned, but obviously like really bright because obviously I work in retail. I work a lot over the Christmas holidays because it is like the busiest time in anyone's retail life. So today is one of those rarities that I have a day off. So I'm super excited. I haven't got any major plans. You know, when you think like, okay, I've got a day off coming up. I'm going to plan out my life a little bit. And then it gets to that day and you're like, I can't remember any of the plans that I had whatsoever. And it's one of those days for me, like I knew that there was some things that I had to do, but I can't actually remember what the heck they are. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do today, but whatever it is, I hope it's semi-interesting because you're gonna be coming along with me. Look how funny this angle is. <laughs> There's so many little fruit flies in here because we always have so much fruit around. They're just like, everywhere it is so annoying like ah oh, i struggle to deal with it anywho i think today i'm gonna have this smoothie bowl which is something that i haven't had in ages i feel like recently i've just been eating smoothies or just fruit for breakfast but today is a smoothie bowl day so let's go it is also time for my advent calendar because i forgot that this actually was in my house and my life so <laughs> i got this from the cruelty free shop the brand is so free and it's just organic dairy free milk chocolate alternative and it's pretty simple ingredients so let's find today <laughs> cute it's just a nice little baby piece mm. You know how all advent calendars have that kind of like distinctive taste? This has that exact taste. It's so good. So that is that. Get it from the cruelty free shop and it'll rock your socks. So what I do for the smoothie bowl is super simple. We buy like a whole tray of ripe bananas and freeze them all in these reusable bags. So I am just gonna put a handful. Okay. Handful of the bananas in. Okay, about that many bananas. I'm gonna put some cacao in. So I've got one, two tablespoons because I love cacao so much. Like I could eat it like all the time. Okay, now I'm gonna put some maca powder in and this is just a great powder. I love the smell of it and the taste of it. And it's just really good for you. It is great for your hormones and balancing them. And I just, I love it. I just really love it. Then I'm gonna add some cashews. So just with four or five of them. And I only just started recently adding nuts into my smoothies or smoothie bowls, cashews more specifically. I just really like the taste. It gives it a kind of creamy kind of vibe, which is delish. And now I'm just gonna add some oat milk. And when you're making a smoothie bowl, you only need like, the smallest amount of milk like I've got in all of that I've got about that much milk so if you add too much it goes too runny so it's just kind of like a regular smoothie but if you add you know just that little bit less then it's just kind of perfect so this is our bowl currently that is my breakfast yum all ready to rock you guys would have heard me talk about how good this coconut water is it's just like an insanity, like it's so great. So, treat myself to a bit of light this morning and I'll see you when I see you after breakfast. Okay guys, what I'm going to do now is go and pick up a thing that I got delivered and then I'm gonna go down to the beach because it has been raining quite a bit lately and we finally have a loose guy to do. So I'm gonna go down to the beach. I have my Yellow Swimmers by Wanderlust Swim. I have got so many questions about them previously. So they are by the brand Wanderlust. You can search them on Instagram. And then this cute little yellow set. <laughs> 
is by a local brand called Stargazer. I'll pop their link down below as well. The girl who runs it is just gorgeous. She is a youngin and she's just got her own little studio in town and it's just so friggin' sweet. I get so much joy when I see someone stand up on a surfboard and like they look like they're just loving life. Like it's such a cool feeling to watch. Anyway, just down here at Lennox. So this is my local beach now. And like I said, it is not raining today for like the first time in ages. So I have come down. It is beautiful 27 degrees and I am loving it. Okay, so I've just gotten home from the beach now. I think I got a little bit of color. And on the way home, I stopped in at Michael's work, which is like opposite the beach. So I went and saw him, gave him some orange juice, bought my own orange juice, and I'm just gonna smash that for lunch, I think. So it's two liters of just straight, natural, good orange juice. So I'm gonna enjoy that. And I'm gonna open up this little package that I got sent. It is from a brand called Hara, and they do like really sweet little bamboo intimates. So let's have a look. So it came in this little box here. Groovy. So these are the Stella and the Maya set in pumpkin. And I can already see that they come in these cute little things. So it's like a little box and then like a little bamboo bag. Made with organic bamboo, 100% naturally dyed and pesticide free. Created consciously and sustainably to have a zero impact on the earth. Cool. Cute. And then we got another one of those baggies inside. Cute. I love this color. All right, so we've got, that's the top in this really nice, like, I mean, it's a fitting name, pumpkin. And this little bra, my little boobs. And it's got this nice, just like, single line at the back. Cute little label inside as well. And then we've got some matching undies. So I think I'm gonna have a shower now and then I'm gonna pop them on. So this is the bralette top. And I think it is also a really good kind of bikini top or just laying on the beach kind of top. Very comfy and I really, really love the color and material. So I think this is gonna be my new bikini top, guys. All right, guys, on to the next thing. Now, I am actually going to go and get tattooed um, at Michael's work. You guys would know, you might know, that he works at a tattoo studio. Um, also in Lennox, so I am gonna go and get a tattooed. A tattooed. I'm going to go and get tattooed right now. So, a bit spontaneous. Crazy like that. So when I was in Melbourne recently, I wanted to get a tattoo for Josh on his birthday, but I couldn't get in anywhere to do it. So I went in and visited Michael at work before, and he was like, "Just come get tattoo today." And he just sneezed. <laughs> oh god! And so now I'm doing it. Come on! I've not heard this song in so long. Bit of behind the scenes action. <laughs> cool. Hey. Look at these shifty birds with their eyes. And these dolphins look stoned. Down, cause I'm going to. So this is my tattoo all done. It's still in its wrapping because it's a bit gooey and new. Shout out to Millie from Rock of Ages Tattoo and Mike's head for tattooing that on my skin. And if you don't know what this tattoo is, this is what Josh wrote when he featured in the Balance book, which is a book that my friend Hannah and Anastasia made a few years ago. And basically he wrote a message to people all over the world and it says, tell jokes, love people, be nice. Basically some good words of wisdom, I think, uh, to be sharing. Myself, my friend Tasha, my friend Corey, and my stepdad all have it all over us. Mikey wants it too. And, uh, I don't know, focus. And yeah, loving it. Look. 
So for a super late proper lunch, I am just going to be having a bunch of passion fruit, which is one of my favorite things to have fruit wise. So it's now almost dinner time and we are going to make some alubuna, which is our fave meal. You probably have seen the videos of us making it before. And it's basically just like spiced Indian potatoes. I have a full recipe in the happy handbook, which is my most recent ebook. Plug, plug, plug. Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. So we're just going to start cooking. Can we just talk about how hideous this painting is, by the way? It came with the house and we were like, oh, we'll take it down because we don't like it. It's kind of ugly. And then we took it down and there's like a big hole in the wall. So we have to get something else printed and put over it because I really don't understand it in general. Husband of the decade, guys. Micah has whipped up the most amazing looking Eleguna. It's just like so perfectly crispy. Bacon. He has even made turmeric and cumin right. Oh, yumma. I'm so excited for this. Oh, heck, that looks so good. Look how good this looks, guys. Oh my god. For those that do not know, Michael is actually so talented when it comes to. I don't really you know, know the I man. You're giving me more credit than I deserve. You're I've so got, good. I've got like two dishes. I can do a dal and some potatoes. But they're so good. Though. And a veggie And that's stew. Yeah, he's good. Just playing it down. Needs more salt. I think it's very good. We'll be praised, and you will be praised with angels and saints. Oh, listen! Oh, Your head, what have you become all these years? 